U.S. President Joe Biden hosted the Stanley Cup champions Vegas Golden Knights at the White House on November 13. The Vegas Golden Knights won the National Hockey League jackpot in June when they beat the Florida Panthers to win the Stanley Cup for the first time in the expansion franchise's six-year history with the victory. The Western Conference's top-seeded Golden Knights closed out the best-of-seven championship series 4-1 triggering celebrations in and around the hotels and casinos. Along the famed Las Vegas Strip of the Vegas victory made good on Golden Knights owner Bill Foley's bold prediction that the expansion team would win a Stanley Cup within their first six seasons. Nevada's here. Yeah. Well, be gone. Please have a seat. Please have a seat. And welcome to the White House. The 2023 Stanley Cup champion, Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah. To make sure we do this the right way. And while he couldn't be here, I want to thank former cabinet member of mine. Ever since his team has proved that in Vegas, you can beat the odds. A trip to the finals in your first year, very first year. Five total trips to the playoffs. Four conference finals. 267 total wins in six years. One of the best win records in hockey. When it came up short in the playoffs, you never gave up. This series led, led by a, 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 a hell of a defense and a powerful offense. You dominated the regular season. Then in the playoffs, defeating all-star teams like the Jets, the Oilers, the Stars, without ever facing elimination. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, you beat the Panthers to become the champions. Okay. It seemed like a pipe dream, but the team ownership had faith. You're proving Vegas sports is one of the best shows in town. But you're also proving something else about sports. Like all great franchises, you give back. You give back to the community. Sponsoring after-school activities for kids and programs for the disabled community. Honoring service members, veterans, and military families at games and hockey clinics. And hosting, hosting food drives and providing grants to help fight homelessness and hunger. Throughout the southern, throughout southern Nevada, and in your case, you're also held the entire city together. You know, we've seen it ever since that very first season, just after a one October mass shooting in 2017. I'm gonna be a little quicker. <laughs> uh, first off, um, it's an incredible honor to be uh, here at the White House. Um, as kids, uh, we grew up uh, dreaming of winning the Stanley Cup, uh, but even over the last five months, I think it's five months to the day that we raised the Stanley Cup, uh, I think it's uh, definitely exceeded uh, all my expectations and everything that uh, has gone along with it. Um, we all come uh, here in, uh, in awe uh, of this beautiful place uh, and have such respect for, for you uh, and the office that you hold. It's an honor to speak on uh, behalf of not only my teammates, but the, in the entire organization. Um, but Mr. President, uh, I'll be joined now with the uh, president uh, of, our, of our hockey uh, club, George McPhee. Uh, we'd like to present you with a jersey uh, and in true uh, Vegas golden fashion, a golden uh, hockey stick engraved with uh, uh, everything for yourself. Uh, and uh, <laughs> last thing, go Knights, go. 